Hi guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are. Today, I am hung over. I'm dying. <laughs> So, this is going to be a long video. Uh, I'm going to do an unboxing of November's Fresh and Flowers boxes. I'm going to do a try on. Let's just get chilled, have a really lovely time. So, if, you, if you're if you using your stuff, do it with me. But I also wanted to talk a little bit why I'm, I'm all over the place with my posting schedule. And I, I just feel like it would be nice to have a conversation about, because I know a lot of you are like, you're so kind and you message me and like, we miss you, like I hope you're okay and things like that. So I just kind of want to explain, kind of like the last couple years and like, ooh, everything that's kind of acu kind of accumulated into like the, the big bursts and then like the, the <laughs> like that. So anyway, let's just start off with something really, really fun and lovely. And I haven't done a post yet on Instagram because I wanted to share this with you now. But I got sent something beautiful from the Lush community team. So ha thank you so much, Finley. Um, so if you didn't know, Lush will be launching five fragrances on the 21st of November this year, 2023. The presentation for this is stunning. I mean, again, it's a bit of a collector's piece. So I got Tramp and this is very much my smell. So it says, take a walk through an ancient forest and wrap yourself in a mossy blanket of oak moss and patchouli. And I love this packaging. I like the little, the gold on here. And I'm gonna have a little spritz. So for those who don't know Tramp, Tramp is like a proper lush smell. I'm just gonna get this. Mm. It is beautiful, it is very, I'm trying to think of the words. It's deep. It's a li little bit smoky. You've got that patchouli coming through, a bit of a sweetness, a little bit of freshness, all mixed into one. It's very green. If I was to describe this colour in a colour, it's green, a nice kind of pine green is how I kind of imagine it. It is gorgeous. And I'm so glad that they're bringing out these perfumes um, of like old favorites. I know me personally, I'm very excited for Golden Pear. <clears throat> I love that spray when it came out. And I'm also really excited about, um, oh God, I'm so hungover. I'm really excited about Creamy Candy because I love Creamy Candy smell. So you've got in here, Dark Sumatran Patchouli, Oak Moss Absolute, Oak Moss Extract. It is stunning. If you love earthy smells, if you love patchouli like Karma, Lord of Misrule, um, you know, you, you, you want uh, blue, all blue skies, blue skies and fluffy white clouds. If you want something that is going to really linger on the skin, this will be, be it. And if you like, say, Guardians of the Forest, but you want something maybe a little bit lighter, it's still deep, but I think it's, a, I find it to be a little bit more kind of like, I find it a bit more uplifting. I don't know about you. You need to give Tramp a try. Now, let me have a little look at this. It says, this November, we'll be raising four new perfumes. Oh, and three body sprays in a very small, a special small batch drop. Available on our only on our app and website. So, yes, get yourself onto the website or through the app on the 21st of November to grab yourself some exclusive sprays and I know I will be. So I really want to say thank you again to Finley and the guys in the Lush community. Um, if you are not a part of it, you can join the Discord group. This is like the only kind of social media that Lush are doing. So if you want to be a part of that, see sneak peeks, see bath cocktail inspiration, see a bit more about maybe the subscription boxes, upcoming events, please go join it. I'll leave a link in the description box. It's a really lovely community um, and it's so nice to hear everyone's stories. And if you have questions about Lush, if you have a favorite product that you want to know more about, there's experts on there, like long-standing Lushies, but there's also staff on there as well. Um, there's a lady called Julie who kind of brings out all the archive stuff. So if there's something that you wanted to know about from way back when, you can go in there and you can ask. It's just a really lovely place to be. So yes, thank you very, very much to the guys in the Lush community. And I'm gonna pop that there. And the whole room smells amazing now. Um, we're gonna unbox 
November's Fresh and Flowers. Disclaimer, disclaimer, I got this a couple days ago. You know me, I'm either bang on or I'm a little bit late. So I got this a couple days ago. So if there's flowers in here, I can't promise how, how spectacular they're gonna look. So this says Spice Fresh Box. A spicy, fragrant box, a sticker every time. It, sm it does smell really good. A spicy, fragrant box which takes inspiration from the origins of the spice trade dating back to 1000 BCE with the movement of spices from India and Indonesia across to Egypt. The Middle East slowly became the middleman of the newly founded spice trade, gathering spices across these regions and delivering to Red Sea ports. The benefits of spices were no longer a well-kept secret. Their delicious flavour and beneficial properties within soaps and cosmetics slowly increased their popularity across the world. Here we have worked with infusions or the whole plant to create a variety of safe delicacies for your skin, many of which you'll recognise from your kitchen. Let's open it up. I mean, it looks stunning. Considering that it's been sat up here, it looks great. I've lost my vanilla pod off my vanilla fountain. Look at that. I love it. It smells amazing. Just what I needed. I said to Alex I was going to have a shower, but actually I really, really, really fancy a bath now. So let's dive in. What have we got? Well, first of all, I can see here something really, really cute. These are some little chilly iPads. I'm filming this at night because I've spent the whole day in my Udi, under a blanket. Um, I've not left the house and I've just managed to get some energy <laughs> to get up and do stuff. So look at these cute little chilies. Oh my God. So I know Melody, was it Melody? Yeah, Melody received this box early. And this is another amazing thing about the Discord that, you know, if you are a long standing lushy and you really take upon it, you never know, you might get a surprise on your doorstep. Uh, what we got next? We've got, oh, a foot piece. This is Padron. It says a slightly warming Padron and cleansing lemon foot piece with deep, gentle, full of earth. Well, honestly, my feet represent like like a crocodile's foot. Last night when I was <laughs> this is really embarrassing. Last night when I was in bed, I was like, you know, like I was like rubbing my feet together, and I was both amazed and horrified at like how crusty my, <laughs> my feet felt. So this could not come at a better time. Let's open it up. Here today, I'm sharing all. Ooh, and there's a cool, there's a look. Ooh. Ooh, that smells very floral. That looks good. I mean, that literally looks like a mud pack. Has it got, there's like jasmine in there maybe? There's, there's a very lovely soft floral smell. So you've got Fuller's Earth, you've got fresh lemon, glycerin, Padron peppers. Oh, I, I, I didn't even know that was a pepper, that's cool. Fair Trade olive oil, jasmine absolute. You've got myrrh resinoid, almond essential oil, clove bud oil. That smells beautiful, the jasmine. Ooh, so delicate, so pretty. We've got this lovely bundle here. It's got ginger, cinnamon. I'm trying to, are these Baileys? I can't work out this. You've got a little chili pepper in there. You've got a vanilla pod. I mean, it smells fabulous. So I'm gonna put this to one side. We'll see what we do with this. We've got a little cute cork block. It says Lush on it. Ooh, that smells lovely. I can't work out what that is. It's not a, it's not a smell that I'm familiar with. It's very spicy, like my nose is tingling when I smell it. It's a sweet, I would say like warm, ambient. It's definitely luxurious. I, I feel like it's got clove in it. Definitely, it's got some sort of, yeah, well obviously it's got a spice in it, it's a spice box, but that is divine. Oh, this is gonna make my room smell amazing. I'm gonna pick out this thing here because this is one of my favorite products from Lush that I do wish they would bring back in some form. And this is Vanilla Fountain. This is a mini version to fit in the box. This is a stunning bath bomb. It has a vanilla pod on the top. 
oh, it smells like vanillary. So if you've never smelt the vanillary smell, vanillary is a true vanilla scent. Um, you get a lot of vanilla scented products, you know, on the high street and it's very artificial. This smells like they've scraped a fresh vanilla pod in there. They've added like a lovely kind of like a maybe a resin or I, I don't actually know the ingredients for, for uh, vanilla fountain so we'll have a look at that in a, in a second but like it's like creme brulee pudding. It is very decadent and warm. The smell really lingers and I, w I will say that I I've never really been a vanilla scented person because all I've ever smelt is that artificial one. And one day, uh, my friends, Kim and Karen, we went to York and I had a, a little spray of the vanilla spray in York. And I swear to God, um, it's been, what, nine years since I've smelt it. And I was just obsessed with it. It was all I could think about. I sniffed myself all day and you know, I got loads of compliments. So I would say if you love sweet, warm, musky smells, maybe you've tried turmeric latte, have a little smell of vanilla -y. It's beautiful. And this bath bomb is stunning. This was one of the first bath bombs I purchased through the website as part of the kitchen way back when. I also got a ladybird bubble bar, a small pot of cup of coffee, a small pot of karma cream, I can't remember anything else that I got. Speaking of vanilla -y, we've got a little vanilla -y melt. So this melt can go in your bath. It can go in your burner. It's got beautiful flecks of vanilla pod in it. It smells so damn good. So, so good. Let's, I'm going to open it up. I'm definitely going to put this in the bath. Two chunks. Hell yeah. All the instructions are on your grease proof. I just want people to see the lovely flecks of vanilla pod. And I am actually surprised that... This, I don't know if can you can see the little black specks. Yeah, turn it around this way. There's one there. Um, I am, oh my God, it smells so good. Surprised that it's it's not been something that they've brought out. vanilla is such a beautiful smell and I just feel like people love sweet scents, especially when Snow Fairy's gone, why they don't bring out more stuff in vanilla -y. Maybe because vanilla's expensive, maybe? Um, but you've got fair trade organic cocoa butter, you have glyceryl stearate, titanium dioxide, almond oil, vanilla absolute, jasmine absolute, tonka absolute, vanilla pod, vanilla powder, argan oil water. So although you can put these in, I'm gonna call them a wax melt burner, there are no waxes within Lush's melts. So they are a treat to scent the home, but they will also scent and soften the skin. Um, so even if you don't have a burner, you can use these and vice versa. If you don't have a bath, you can use it in your burner. They work in electric burners and they work on candle burners as well. We've got Saffron Overnight Mask. How to use a saffron and brightening carrot mask. Apply and relax for as long as you like, then rinse off. I'm just gonna put this on now because I know that I need something to, ooh. I need some TL TLC, but that sounds loose. Um, it doesn't have any ingredients on, so I'm gonna assume it's gonna be on here. Now, is this for your hair or for your face? Oh my God, that smells lovely. Very medicinal. It's like a gel. Is this for, no, it's gotta be for your face, not your hair, cause that wouldn't be enough. It reminds me of something, I, I kind of can't put my finger on what the smell is. And then last but not least, one of my favorite cleansers from Lush. I think this is the third time we've had this in the Fresh and Flowers box. I'm never sad to see it because I love it. And that is Turmeric Roll. Turmeric Roll is a beautiful brightening cleanser. It is a clay-based cleanser. This weighs 100 grams, so this would be the same size as what you would get if you were to buy it in the store. And it's just beautiful. It has a lovely, fresh, spiced scent to it, and it has a nice gentle scrub. You're getting that brightening action from the spices, but then you're also getting the brightening actioning, actioning action from the scrub. So let's talk about all the things that I don't have to hand uh, in a packaging. I, I am like losing my mind. Okay, so your vanilla fountain bath bomb. Drop into a warm bath and enjoy with softening effects of bicarb admits the sweet and comforting vanilla scent uh, and the aroma of yummy fudge. So you've got sodium bicarb, citric acid, vanilla pod, vanilla absolute, jasmine absolute, tonka absolute, sandalwood oil, gardenia extra. And that's what I mean, like it's not just vanilla, there's more to it, there's layers, and that's just what makes it so beautifully decadent. 
it smells amazing then you've got ooh, a spice bath bundle a warming bundle of spices for your bath or foot bath don't unwrap just place in the water and let the spices infuse well I'm definitely going to do that so you've got fresh bay leaf I think I said bay leaf didn't I um you've got vanilla pod you've got a cinnamon stick fresh ginger and a fresh sweet baby pepper so yummy 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 I kind of want to keep the vanilla pod and rinse it off and then just put it in some sugar and make vanilla sugar I know like uh, I don't know if you guys do this but when I was little and we used to do a lot of like bake baking at home normally on a Sunday with my mum if we got vanilla pods we'd obviously scrape out the vanilla use that for your baking but then keep the husks and then put in the sugar to turn it into vanilla sugar and then it that sugar was just so nice to bake with because it just added like the extra flavour yum 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 so I'm kind of like humming and hawing do I keep that for sugar or do I use it for use it as intended so the melt is says this lush melt shares its fragrance with our iconic vanilla perfume a cosy vanilla scent with deep richness from Tonka Absolute and notes of floral jasmine add to your oil burner for aromatherapy or to your bath water for silky soft skin and I told you all the ingredients you have I need a cleanse <laughs> You know, you just need to wash away the sins from the night before. Turmeric roll. So turmeric will give your skin a subtle glow. Aloe vera hydrates and the milky ground almonds softly buff the skin. Take a pinch and add a little water and make into a paste. You can use it as a face mask for 10 to 15 minutes or as a cleanser. Massage over your face and body before gently washing off. Um, I, I used to use Dark Angels as like a really deep cleansing uh, face mask and uh, I would use that like once a week or kind of just on those areas where I was a little bit more oily even though my skin is a lot drier now I, I don't use it but you can do it that way as well and you have in here ground almonds kale and sunflower petals uh, extracted in glycerin glycerin water lavender oil witch hazel extract that'll be good because I feel spots brewing neroli oil geranium oil orange flower absolute rose absolute turmeric powder fresh aloe so your rose absolute Anything with rose in is going to help soothe the skin. Um, you've got neroli oil in there, so very mood lifting, but also really plumping on the skin as well. We have the Padron mask. Relax on the sofa and have a bowl of hot water and a towel nearby. Apply a thick layer over your feet and lie back and relax 10 minutes before rinsing. You can also use it in the bath with the rest of your products. Let the warming Padron peppers and the dual action of cleansing lemon and fuller's earth get to work cute then we've got our little cheeky chili pepper ipads oh my goodness soothing ipads with common vanilla pod infusion hydrating fresh aloe gel and natural coloring from paprika take take from the fridge and place under each eye and relax for 10 minutes so you have vanilla pod infusion glycerin fresh aloe gel carrageenan extract kaolin titanium dioxide paprika or a laurel 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 and then chlor oh i've lost me little end uh, and chlorophyll in for the green oopsies um you've got a spiced scented cork so uh we've included a cork tile which is fragrant with a spicy scent to help you go to sleep if you pop it next to your bed you can infuse your bedroom while you sleep with a saffron overnight mask on so this mask this must be a face mask saffron helps your skin stay radiant and softening and softening carrageenan with carrot juice will help your skin glow you can use this as a normal face mask or you can wear it all night with a towel covering your pillow apply and relax for as long as you like then rinse it off so you have this is the cute little pot here saffron infusion fresh carrot juice fresh aloe gel carrageenan extract lavender oil lavender absolute chamomile blue oil neroli oil cold pressed carrot seed oil so again lovely and cooling and soothing but then you've got like again really plumping ingredients like neroli oil cold pressed carrot seed oil i think has vitamin a and a in it so again really softening um and then obviously a saffron nice and brightening so excited to try this so <clears throat> This is going to be the long pot because I'm going to put some stuff on and we're going to have a little chat. I love everything in this box. I'm very excited to try everything. And I'm going to get some jugs of water and I'll be right back. See you in a second. Maybe give, us, give yourself a chance to go get yourself a cup of tea and some biscuits. Okay, I'm back with my head back on, headband on. So, where to start? Where to start? 
Um, first of all, I'm going to un unroll this whilst we're, whilst we're talking. If you haven't seen how to use it, I've got some other kind of get on ready with me, chill with me where I show how to use this. So I'll try and find one of those videos and put it on. So I'm just going to really be kind of putting the products on um, over like actual instructional because I kind of want to take the time just to have a chat. Um, so where do I keep going? Um, <clears throat> since like 2021, well 2020 obviously we went in COVID and we, well I, started to post a lot more and you know my page was doing really well and I was really enjoying it, I was really consistent. And then when 2021 came about, um, a job became available for me to apply for and I applied for it <laughs> and I didn't get it. <laughs> And it kind of sent me down a spiral. And you can see, like, um, it was around May time uh, when this happened. And, yeah, it, it kind of, I, I spiralled massively. Um, I, although I'm very chatty and confident in that sense, I don't have, like, a lot of self-confidence. And it doesn't take a lot um, for me to get knocked um, and feel, I don't know if other people feel like this, but... Um, instantly feel like a failure um, and I didn't get this job and um, the sense of like shame and embarrassment uh, was overwhelming and I just I just couldn't face um, kind of doing anything I just kind of just shut down then you know as time moves on and you heal um, I started to feel a bit better, still kind of stung, you know, thinking about it. Um, Christmas happened. I didn't feel very well at Christmas time in 2021. Um, I went out to York with some of my friends and Alex and I had a lovely time. And then the next day, well, in the middle of the night, I woke up with like agonizing pains and I thought, oh, like I've given myself food poison from a dodgy kebab. <laughs> you know, I've, I've made myself poorly. But it was like, pain off the scale. I was almost going to pass out from the pain. I'd never felt anything like it before and it was crazy. So I kind of struggled through the night. I was like, no, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And anyway, it got too bad. I went to hospital and long story short, after a lot of tooting and froing, they found that I had an ovarian cyst. I was like, oh my god, life flashing before my eyes. And it was big, but not big enough to do anything. So they, they were monitoring me for like the next year. I had to go in for checkups. And they'd kind of said like, oh, um, you know, if anything unusual happens, if you feel a bit funny, uh, just, just come back in. And, you know, Christmas time, like it would hurt to like laugh. It just, it just, there was a lot of pulling and it just didn't feel very good. And it just got to the point where I was like, you know, I should probably go back and and see so anyway i went back in and because i wasn't like i don't know reeling in agony i kind of got dismissed and that was that and then at the start of whoops the start of 2022 i had a jury service and if you haven't done jury service it's it's an incredible thing to do depending on what case you get and i had a really tough case to sit in and it really mentally impacted me. I was having nightmares. I, um, like during the trial, but also after trial, after sentencing and things like that. I, it just felt awful. I've got stuff everywhere. And one night during the jury service, I woke up to the sensation of uh, ripping and then popping with a flood of liquid like on my side and I thought oh my god I'm bleeding what's happening but there was no blood then the next night a smaller kind of version of that happened and I was like this isn't right so I kind of went to the doctors didn't do anything I went uh when I sp spoke to the person about the ovarian cyst like the the specialist yeah people just looking at you like you're mad like you're making it up and I tell you right now I'd rather not be having this like why would I make up such a weird thing so it kind of got swept under the cop and I had this awful pain and I've been having this awful pain for like the past nearly two years if we include like the next year as well and then in oh April I think it was like April time well at the start of the year I, I, I go on a lot of walks and in the start of the year 
I'm gonna put on this mask. Um, when I go on some walks with my mum, and you know she's not like doing like the same kind of movement. This is very gelatinous. Um, uh, like as what she would normally do, and she's getting quite tired, and you know like out of puff as as she calls it, and um. It turns out that she was copying me and they found a ovarian cyst. But of course she has to outdo me. <laughs> um, and it was cancer, ovarian cancer. And it was like the size of a melon. It was quite large, it was like over a kilo. This feels lovely by the way. Um, and I'm just interjecting that over a quite a serious topic, but um, it just feels really nice. And yeah, so they found it and really quickly they kind of got things sorted. They um, got her in for treatment, like they, she, she had an operation, uh, she had chemo and by Christmas 2022, I mean, I was just broken, just broken. Like, it just felt like one thing after the other. And I just, what I call, I had a wobble, um, like a full, like breakdown so again you've probably seen like dips in and out and maybe not the same kind of a thing and then for the past year 2023 I have been playing catch up with my emotions um I've done a bit of talking therapy I'm going to be um through work and I have been I'm on the waiting list for talking therapy with uh NHS uh, which obviously, t depending on the catchment area that you're in, uh, depends on how long it takes. Um, <clears throat> and it's just been like this massive thing. And then recently, I applied for another job that I really wanted and I didn't get it. Um, and it's kind of like the rejection is just too much to bear. And it just, again, the embarrassment, the shame, a lot of shame, um, again, just tipped me over. And I'm just like, I feel like it's been a week now. I'm still a bit hurt about it, but it doesn't feel as bad as the 2021 one. Um, obviously, like, I love my job that I do, but you know, you always want to do better for yourself. Um, so it's just like a kick in the teeth, essentially. And... Until I get any feedback, I, I won't know what I, what, what I could have done better and things like that. And it's just so hard to have all these things happen in such a short period of time. Ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. Um, and it just like knocks you every single time. And I know it's life. I know it's life, but oh my God. And um, I just get so overwhelmed like we've got loads of stuff going on in the house like obviously you know that I've mentioned that we're getting like the kitchen done and things like that it's still not finished and it's like you, you come home from work and you are so tired from work and then you've got to make dinner and you've got to do house chores and you've got to make videos and you've got to edit them and you've got to have a social life you, you've, you've got to exercise and things like this it just takes over and just I just I just no, can't do it. Um, and I just have like, I, like the, the weight, the burden, um, just feels just awful. I'm gonna put these underneath my eyes, I think. Um, I can feel like the warming um, of the, ooh, the warming of the saffron mask. This feels nice, it looks weird though it's like this yeah that's nice uh yeah so and it, it's just been like a battle over the past hmm, two years of dealing with like serious home issues rejection and realize that i look absolutely insane rejection um whilst trying to find ambition within myself and finding like a self like a sense of purpose and it's just been really hard and Maybe I could manage it better. I feel like I do, I'm do. i doing a lot better than what I have previously. Um, but yeah, that's that's why the, the posting goes wild because it just literally just takes one thing and I'm just off. And I just wanted to shut down. I definitely find, um, I know it's like 
the new cliche thing to say like getting into nature but I really do think like if you you know if you feel a bit naff and you're able to going for a walk in fresh air it it, it does soothe it, it makes me feel better um that kind of the smell of fresh air the leaves you know kind of seeing things other than just like the four walls around me it it does make you feel better um so yeah uh that's kind of why and I know I can do more I know I I there is so much I can do and it's like I have got videos from like the start of the year that I want to edit and put on but I just feel like oh my god where is time <laughs> where if I could have Bernard's watch and stop it stop time so that I could do stuff I would um sorry the camera's shaking I need to take my arms off here um so yeah that is that is it um do I feel better um work kind of gave me like a week off well the rest of the week off um so I could have some space which I'm just so grateful for and I'm just really grateful for my friends and Alex and everyone that I work with because they're just so kind and they've been so good to me um trying not, not to cry um yeah so and it's a it's a, it's the same with like I have these ideas that I want to do for the channel for my Instagram for everything and it starts off and I get super overwhelmed and then it's like oh god I've got to start it again and it's like oh, it's just like a never end it's like a you know like a, the snake that bites its own tail that's what it feels like um so yeah uh <laughs> depression alert but I just kind of <sighs> you're not a failure and I'm not a failure and I know it's so hot it's well it's, it's so easy to say that um and if you're feeling like how I'm feeling you are not a failure and it wasn't meant to be something else will come up and I know it's cliche but something else will come up you just gotta keep going <laughs> and you never know what will come around the corner my horoscope was uh about a new job prospect a few months ago that's why I was like oh my god this is meant to be um but all I would just say is is just keep going like I am day by day um like so the other day like I cleaned one two two rooms in, in the landing and that made such a difference <laughs> I still gotta do in here I still gotta do in here and like two other rooms um three other rooms um but just making a, like a one bit you know just take just bite size bite size bits you know da, 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 and it just really makes you feel better and, and i know this is just a ramble um but yeah everything happens for a reason as cheesy as that sounds i'm going to take these off and we're going to wash off Ooh, this face mask now i know it's i've got do you know even though it's small you get a lot on here so uh, yeah I just kind of want to say like again like thank you so much to everyone that like is still here and still leaves comments or sends me a little message being like oh, we miss you I hope you're okay because that really does mean a lot to me um and then I just want to be able to to be here and I, and I have like I really want to do like and I've been talking about this for ages oh my god my skin is glowing um I've been talking about this for a while but I really want to do like streaming I want to not so much like games, because uh, I, I don't think I have the, the competitive uh, side that, oh, I would just be in pure silence and it would be really boring. But like streaming, like um, beauty stuff, skincare stuff, body care stuff, you know. Um, so, and obviously, like in lockdown, I did, there was a lot more variety. And obviously, I kind of, you know, and I, I love Lush, obviously. Um, but I feel like I've kind of, shh, kind of, turn myself into a bit of a niche channel so if there is anything that you want me to do let me know because I'm open to ideas and yes it might take some time but I will do them and I want to do other things I never feel <gasps> oh that feels lovely so I know that was really heavy and I spewed out a lot of information I feel a little bit better for it um, but I kind of just wanted to say like why and then obviously like I sound like this and I look like this because I'm hungover 
I was going to do two separate videos, but you know, I was just thinking, let's just put it all in. That face mask is lovely. That face mask is so nice. So nice. I want to do more stuff on TikTok as well. It's just like time, energy, creativity. Um, and just like the last thing, like, like my health has been so impacted. Oh my God, I forgot to say as well. So eventually I found a doctor who was actually like interested in my health and well-being. Um, so has helped with lots of mental aspects, but actually has taken a massive look into what is wrong with this pain because he's actually really curious about it. And so I've had a, a camera go down my throat. That was a wild ride. <laughs> had the, the numb and spray. Which I was like, I, I can't swallow anymore. And they're like, you are swallowing, but just don't think about because you'll choke. And then I had like, like, sh like um, drugs that would keep me awake, but I wouldn't feel anything. And in fact, apparently, like, it affects your short-term memory. So like, I, they could talk to me, but I have no idea what I was saying or doing. Um, and they found like a hernia, like it's called a hiatus hernia. So I know that I should eat better, lose weight to help this. And I'm so tired all the time and I have no motivation and no energy. I also have an inf inflamed lower esophagus as well um, because of the acid reflux that I get a lot because of the hernia and things like that. Um, where is this motivation gone? I go to the gym. I just, oh yeah. So to press fest over, my skin feels unreal. I'm gonna go run myself a lovely bath. I won't record that, cause you don't need to see that. I'm gonna run myself a lovely bath. Thank you so much for sitting and listening <laughs> to this little depressing story. But I just wanted you guys to know what was kind of going on and why I'm kind of all over the place over the past like couple of years. And just truly like, if you are experiencing anything like how I've been feeling, this kind of overwhelming sense of doom, dread. I mean, I have like, um, like, I, I, yeah, I have anxiety and depression and I get stressed so much. The tablets do work, so you know, give them a try. They do, they do help. And you should never be ashamed to take medication if it works, you know. I think sometimes people feel like it's a sign of weakness to have to take medicine, but honestly, like, it's made me, and I know it sounds, <laughs> sounds crazy, it's made me care less, which is a good thing because I care too much. I worried about everything, everything. So paranoid, paranoid. I worried about everything, um, overthink, overthink, overthought things, um, and now I don't do that as much, and that's really good, <laughs> really good. Not doing that. So all I would say is, if you're feeling that feeling, go see a GP and talk to them. You might have to see a couple to find one that's actually good, um. But I would really recommend doing it. You, you don't struggle. Don't, because I don't know what you are like, but I will bottle up stuff until I explode. And so it's really hard to kind of un unwire, unwrap, unknot these bad habits that I've built up uh, and to be able to talk about it. Because <laughs> when I get overwhelmed, then I just cry and I can't get my emotions out. So it's been a real big learning curve for me. And I just feel like, you know, the talk about how you feel. Because honestly, the weight off your shoulder is, is amazing. So yeah, you're not alone. You're not alone. And you're not a failure. You're not a failure. So yes, if you like this video, <laughs> as depressing as it probably was, give it a little thumbs up. If you really liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 4,000 subscribers. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway at 4,000. I've already been putting some stuff aside. There's some nice bits in there already. Um, you can follow me on social media here. Um, YouTube will recommend some videos at the end. And yeah, my favorite thing from the box so far, I haven't tried the foot mask, but I would probably say the vanilla fountain bath bomb because ofs. Uh, this cork, because it smells freaking amazing, and the saffron face mask, because my skin feels incred. So yeah, let me know what your favorite thing from this box was. Do you wish you got it? What was your favorite thing? What was your least favorite thing? I wanna know. Just leave it all down below, and I'll see you next video. Okay, look after yourselves as well.
拜。